my name is Ralph Tricartan. I am the Dean of the School of Business at Andrews University. Today, businesses and professionals are struggling to make wise decisions during this time of worldwide crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Some people call this the coronavirus pandemic. In the following short presentations, we would like several of our professors to share with you some ideas for surviving this disruption and for planning for a strong future. We are hoping that the robust economy in Vietnam is not damaged for too long or too badly as a result of this situation. The ideas shared are not meant to be exhaustive answers to questions, but just a starting point for your planning. All businesses should be carefully planning so as to position themselves for outstanding success in a variety of market conditions. Here in the United States, where our main university campus is located, in the state of Michigan, we are very close to a state of lockdown. The governor of our state has closed all of the schools, and students are all finishing up their studies through online delivery of education. All non-essential employees have been told to stay home. A number of employees have had their employment hours reduced or have been put on temporary leave without pay. The government has promised to fill in the gap with unemployment compensation. Most of the small and medium-sized businesses have been required to close down. Of course, this raises many questions for the owners and employees of these businesses. We hope to give you some ideas of things your business can do during the crisis and how to prepare the business for the in-business environment as we come out of this situation. It is my sincere hope that someday I will be able to meet you in Vietnam or in the United States. We are very pleased with the quality of our Vietnamese students that have graduated with our Andrews University MBA degree or with our BBA degrees, Bachelor of Business Administration degrees. For now, we hope you enjoy the following presentation. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Lucille Sabas, and I'm teaching economic at the School of Business uh, uh, at Andrews University. My background is uh, economics all, all along. I studied economics. Uh, um, from high school, you know, at, uh, I'm, I'm from France and in France from high school, uh, we choose our specialization. So, uh, from high school, I started to, uh, study economics. My BA is in economics and my master one is in economics and also my master two, master one economics, my master two economics and my PhD also is in economics, I got from La Sorbonne University in Paris. Um, even though I studied economics all along, uh, I, however, I have uh, uh, two specializations, um, economic development and uh, international macroeconomics. I also have uh, some finance in my background because um, preparing my master one and my master two, I had uh, to present uh, a dissertation and in both dissertation, I worked on financial issues, financial crises, on financial uh, problems uh, in some countries, especially uh, developing countries. So today, I have to talk to you about, uh, uh, or to give you some insight on how to remain productive in this particular situation. Um, we all agree this is a very challenging time where we have to work from home because of uh, the COVID-19. Um, so we have to find ways in order to stay as productive as before or if we cannot keep, keep we cannot keep the same level of productivity, at least do our best to stay close to what we used to have. So some quick advice 
uh, first of all, I'm going to ask you to keep uh, the spirit of the workplace. Even though the environment has changed, uh, we are at home, but try to recreate the same environment and keep the spirit of the workplace. Practically, what does this mean? You used to wake up in the morning at a specific time, get ready for the office, and to be at the, at the office at a, at a specific time, so you will have to do the same. Don't tell yourself because, uh, tell yourself because I'm at home, so I'm going to wake up at whatever time, time I want. I will start working at whatever time I want, and I will keep my uh, uh, um, house, home outfit. No, this is not going to be helpful. So keep the same routine, the same habits, waking up in the, in the morning at the same time you used to do it, get ready as you were going to the office and get ready to start working at the same time you used to be at the office. So the second advice I will give, this is for managers. Um, um, managers are going to help employees um, practice the first advice if they in, in, uh, uh, put in place a briefing or a meeting to start the day. So they will start, they will start a meeting every day at the time the, the employees were, are supposed to be at the office. And in this briefing, the manager is going to encourage the employees and motivate them, giving them some information about how their market, the market they are in, uh, is doing, uh, what was the situation the previous day, what it is, it's expected to be today and tomorrow. So keep the employees informed or posted about what is going on about their industry. Doing this meeting also, uh, I think I said uh, some a word of encouragement, uh, also some words of motivation. But during this meeting also, um, the employees will share their goal for the day, which means that uh, each employee for each day will have to prepare a checklist. Uh, with all the goals or the objectives that they need to achieve for the day. So during this meeting, they will be sharing this, their list of objectives. So these objectives uh, uh, need to be achievable. Uh, don't put it too high so that uh, they may not be able to achieve it and then creating frustration at the end of the day. So it should be realistic and achievable. So each employee will prepare a checklist with the goals for the day and they will be sharing uh, this uh, uh, list of goals uh, we, during the meeting with everybody. So because we had a meeting to start the day, we will also have a meeting uh, to finish, to end the day. And during this meeting, we are going to share, you are going to share together what has been done, what, what has been achieved. So it's not a meeting uh, to punish the employees, it's not a meeting to blame them, but this is a time to help everybody to remain focused, to remain productive. So um, if you have well done achieving all your objectives or probably 80% of them, uh, it's good. Share with uh, your colleagues what you have done, how you have been able to achieve your objectives. So you will be sharing good practices, uh, good habits, good behavior that will help also your colleagues uh, to do better the following days. Also, if you have not achieved your objectives, 
that's okay. That's okay too. You should also say it and probably try to understand with your colleagues what didn't work, why you didn't uh, achieve your objectives. So it's also a time to share with all the group uh, the, the, the mistakes that should not be reproduced, uh, the misbehavior that should not be reproduced. So this, be, this will be helpful. So we keep in mind that this is a time where we really have to uh, keep the, uh, the team effort. Uh, we need to keep uh, the, uh, the spirit of, uh, of, of help, we need to remain united and think that we are a team and this is together that we are going to succeed in this very challenging time. Uh, so uh, I said, um, keep the same routine, prepare a list of objectives, so start with a meeting, finish with a meeting. Uh, fifth uh, advice, if the cell phone is not a, a, a work tool, that means that you don't, you, you don't need your cell phone for your work, please keep your cell phone away from you. You turn it off and you keep it away from you because the, we are in a time where so many information is going back and forth. Information, videos, text, etc., are coming every minute. So uh, the cell phone can uh, disturb you very quickly and prevent you to remain focused. So, so keep your phone, your cell phone, away from you. Six uh, uh, advice. Six advice. Every two hours get up, walk a little bit, do some exercises, move, move around. This will help you to be productive. Don't sit down in front, in front of your computer or your desk all day long. Get up, move, do some exercises. So these are the uh, uh, advices that I wanted to share with you. So we can summarize them. Uh, keep the routine, uh, be at the office or be ready to start working at the same time you used to be working. And when I say keep the routine, routine, that means that you are going to get ready as you used to do it every morning when you were going to the office. If you were using makeup, use your makeup. I mean, yes, get ready, right? Uh, third advice, um, uh, prepare a checklist. Uh, uh, with all the goals object, and objectives that you want to achieve uh, for the day. Uh, start the day with uh, a meeting led by the manager where information will be shared, where the goals will be shared with all the colleagues. End the day with a meeting where uh, uh, um, the, the achievements will be uh, shared also with the colleagues with the idea to help to help the whole team um, every two hours get up do exercises move around uh, etc so um, this were the major ideas I think that um, with this um, there is no reason that we uh, cannot do our best. Um, so I will encourage you uh, to remain very focused. Uh, it's a very challenging time for all of us. So this is a situation that we are, we are not accustomed to. So we need to, to adapt. So that means that we will be, we should be very disciplined, very organized and intentional. We need to be intentional and uh, we need to remain focused. Uh, uh, but all this will be uh, possible if we uh, observed uh, the different advice that I gave, again, um, uh, routines, getting ready, start on time, the checklist, keep the phone away from you, start with a meeting, 
finish with a meeting, sharing information. And during the day also, uh, the manager can decide um, during the day I'm going to have a, a, another meeting um, just with the idea to keep everybody our focus to keep everybody uh, with uh, the work spirit. So a meeting to start, a meeting to end, but during the day, uh, uh, another meeting or two other meetings can be, uh, can be helpful. Also a time to stop uh, and have lunch, a limited time for lunch, and then we come back to work. Uh, our lunch is not going to last forever because we are at home. We try to keep the same habit because we need to keep in mind that the time that we are spending at home, there's our time for the company. The time the company is paying us for. Okay, so uh, keep this in mind. With this said, I will encourage you, don't give up, don't be discouraged. We don't have anything to fear about. And as economists are saying it, most economists are saying it, saying it uh, now, the situation that we are going through, it's not a normal recession. Uh, a normal recession, we will see that uh, uh, the companies will be going down in their production late gradually. Uh, still to achieve a lower level. Uh, companies will be facing uh, poor liquidity problems. Uh, demand will drop because of um, because companies are uh, letting um, um, uh, firing people because they cannot produce. The economy is going. Uh, down the, the macroeconomic variables or indicators were going down. This is a normal recession where things are going down gradually. The macroeconomic variables are bad. This is a normal recession and in this case usually an economy takes time to recover. This situation, it's not the same at all. We are in the situation where the global economy was growing, where the macroeconomic indicators were doing fine, and we experienced an ex external shock that hit our economies. So because it's an external shock, that hit our economies where everything, uh, where things were going uh, uh, great uh, with the companies producing, keeping producing, increasing produce, uh, 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 output, the GDP were growing, and employment were, uh, was at a low level, inflation was under control. So it's not, uh, it's not uh, a, a particular, I mean, a, a usual, uh, recession. So again, I'm going to say this is an external shock, shock hitting our economies. So our economies will recover very quickly uh, when the government will find a way to contain uh, this virus. Um, this uh, uh, um, uh, they will contain uh, contain the spreading out of this virus. Uh, our ec our economies will restart. I will recover very quickly. Very quickly, production will start, and the companies will start uh, higher, hiring people, hiring employees again, and uh, we will start with in a, a, a growing uh, situation very rapidly. So we should not be discouraged, and we don't have anything to fear about, and. Um, um, God will help us to get out of this, uh, um, this uh, particular situation again. I, will, I wish you the best and uh, keep up. Again, it will be for a short time, a short period, and everything will come back normal. Thank you.